Hey guys, my name is Iman and in this video I'm going to explain how to work with a MATLAB function called filter bank design. I developed this function to design all types of filter banks including uniform, oversampled uniform and non-uniform filter banks. To download the function, just check out the following link and make sure that you follow all the steps. I already downloaded and unzipped the package to save time. So let's start the tutorial. If you want to learn how to work with this function, just type help filter bank design. As you can see, there is a comprehensive explanation about this function, different inputs and different outputs and basically everything. This function is designed based on our research which you can find here. A general approach for filter bank design using optimization. So if you are interested to understand the idea behind this uh, function, please read this document. So let's go back to the uh, MATLAB function. In this tutorial, I'm going to uh, show you three examples. The first example is a uniform filter bank. As I said, it's uh, clear all. As I said, it's based on optimization, and as you can see, the cost function is going down. So we need to wait. Done. After the conversions, these are analysis filters and these are the synthesis filters. I assume you're already familiar with these concepts. But you know, in filter bank design, analysis and synthesis filters must be designed in a way that some conditions called perfect reconstruction conditions are satisfied. Otherwise, we have distortion and aliasing at the output. As you can see, we have lots of distortion and aliasing at the beginning, which means perfect reconstruction conditions are not satisfied. But after, con after convergence, as you can see, distortion is below minus 100 dB and also aliasing is almost below minus 100 dB, which means they are very close to zero and we can say perfect reconstruction conditions are almost satisfied. Let's talk about second example. This example is called clear all. This example is a non uh, uh, sorry, it's a uniform, it's an oversampled uniform filter bank. The reason that it's called uniform because as you can see, all the sampling rates are the same, two, two, two. That's why it's called uniform. But because we have three subbands and the sampling rate is two, it's called oversampled. Again, it's optimization. And the cost function is going down. I think I defined the maximum number of iteration to 100. So, yes. So, as you can see, these are analysis filters and these are synthesis filters. And because this is an oversampled uniform filter bank, uh, that's why, uh, you know, the amplitude response for synthesis filters are kind of weird. Uh, if you look at the initial distortion and aliasing, you can see we have lots of error at the beginning. But after condition, after convergence, final distortion and final aliasing are very small. And we can say perfect reconstruction conditions are almost satisfied. The last example that I want to show you is a non-uniform filter bank. The reason that it's called non-uniform because the sampling rates are not the same. It's 2, 4, 4. So that's why it's called a non-uniform filter bank. So I guess this one is time consuming. So I already saved the results and I'm going to show you the results. After the convergence, these are analysis filter and these are synthesis filter 244 and uh, in terms of aliasing and distortion, as you can see at the beginning we have lots of errors but after convergence, distortion and aliasing are very close to zero, and we can say perfect reconstruction conditions are almost satisfied. I think that's it, and thanks for using my function. If you have any question, please send me an email. Thanks.